New captivating video from the Sherry Papini investigation showing Papini breaking down in a Shasta County interrogation room as investigators lay out their evidence debunking her kidnap story. CBS 13 Steve Large, the first to show you that video. He's live tonight at the federal courthouse with how it's giving new insight into the elaborate kidnapping hoax. Steve. And this is where Sherry Papini was just yesterday. She was sentenced to 18 months in prison for making false statements to investigators. This new video shows investigators laying out their case methodically to Papini, and it shows Papini's performance under pressure. It's not an abduction. She asked me to come get her. No. I rented a car. No. I drove up and picked her up. He, he passed the polygraph test, Sherry. It's the moment investigators confront Sherry Papini with their polygraph and DNA evidence. Her response, more denials. There's no way. This video of this small interrogation room shows Papini with her husband by her side. As investigators reveal, they've learned she was with an ex-boyfriend willingly, not kidnapped. And he came and got you because you asked him. <laughs> no. The video also shows investigators speaking to Papini with her husband out of the room, asking for her motive. When did it turn into something more? Obviously, you never would have imagined that CNN in 2020 and Good Morning America would care about you wanting to leave Keith or wanting to teach him a lesson. The lack of empathy and the interpersonal exploitation. Dr. Diane Powell is a psychologist who's followed the Papini case, and while she's never treated her, says she appears to exhibit several personality disorders, lack of empathy, and narcissism. Prosecutors say even after pleading guilty to false statements, she continues to tell friends she was kidnapped. Well, that's a piece of the personality disorder. <laughs> uh, this up and down of tuning into reality and not tuning into reality according to her needs of the moment. A kidnap hoax that captivated the country. This new video is showing a glimpse into the mind of the woman who made it all up. I don't think you're a horrible person, Sherry. I think things went a little sideways on you. Well, that exchange inside that interrogation room was actually in August of 2020, and despite her emotional responses to investigators, she never did say that uh, she was giving up her story. She stuck to her script that she had been kidnapped. In fact, uh, she wasn't arrested until earlier this year and then reached that plea agreement settlement finally saying that she made false statements. Yeah, another layer to this compelling story. Steve, thank you.